Hey there, I'm Mark and in my tutorials I usually cover affinity apps, so please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you like to learn more about Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and Publisher. Alright, let's get started. This is another one about learning how to use shapes. But this time, instead of doing boring worksheet full of shapes, we are going to use them to assemble this nice looking tree. As you can see here in the outline view mode, this is 100% vector based. So we build this from basic shapes. So let's try to recreate this tree on the new artboard. As you can see, I already got the second artboard here. And now I'm going to simply recreate this tree using mainly different shape tools. So we focus on using shapes and also modifying them with node tool without any usage of pen tool or pencil tool. All right, so let's set up the background. I got one rectangle for the soil, one rectangle for the sky. That's a nice background. I'm going to group both rectangles together. So right click and group in the layer panel. And now I can even lock this group here, locked. So I will not select my background by mistake. Our background is ready, so we can start with our tree. Let's pick a next shape. Again, same shape, rectangle. I picked the color from the first image, so we got exactly same color. I got my snapping on, as you can see, on off. So it's snapping to the center of the artboard automatically. That's very handy. All right, and now I'm going to select a next shape, double star. Quite strange choice for the tree, but take a look. If I push this inside, rotate my star a little bit, I got very nice starting point for the tree. Now I need to unite both shapes together. So select both and click add in geometry panel. And now we got just one shape. Let's modify this shape with a node tool. Node tool allow us to drag nodes separately to reshapes. Uh, we can change the node position. We can click on the line to add new nodes. We can turn square nodes into curvy one as well. But in my case, I will stick to the sh sharp nodes like this. Simply reposition my star and it's more like a tree right now. Nice. We can add some finishing touch with corner tool. So we can round corners. In this case, we will round like the end of each arm here like this and bake the appearance. And here's our base for the tree. Just with basic shapes without using pen tool. That's nice. Next thing will be a cloud tool. So take a look. The cloud tool got 12 bubbles like this by default. But we can change that using the slider above here. We can reduce this number, let's say six. Now we got just six bubbles and you can drag this orange point in and out to modify how deep they are. So that is very nice if you want to make a tree or some kind of plant. Just simply duplicating by dragging the shape while holding command on my keyboard. This way, instead of move the shape, you will kind of make a copy while moving. So the shape will stay on the original position and you will just create a duplicate for the new position while you're moving the shape. All right, that's a very nice start for the tree. Let's duplicate this once more. Right click, duplicate in the layer panel this time. Make it a little large and darker and now change this position behind the tree. So drag it down in the layer panel. So we got this nice green area behind. Cool. And that's how we can easily create this tree vector tree without using pen tool. How about the grass? You may ask. Let's use tier tool look like drop of water, but we can modify that using this orange point. Perfect. 
and this will be our grass. So I need to create multiple duplicates of this. So I will simply click and drag it away while holding command. This way I create duplicate. And now I can just redo this action automatically. Edit and duplicate from the list here. As you can see, there's also shortcut for it, command J. And it's not only duplicate, but also move it. So command J, command J, command J. This is called power duplicate. You make a copy, but you also repeat the last movement. So this way we can very quickly populate this area of the grass. Now I unite all of them into one shape. No tool, and we will get rid of those nodes here. And I hit delete on my keyboard and I get rid of unnecessary notes. I got nice smooth edge at the bottom. Nice. Now we just need to go underground and make our roots. So let's start with a rectangle to make a second shade for this soil. Just rectangle tool will do. Now we can change the color, something brighter. Let's make it even brighter than this, so you guys can see it in the video. Better. All right, and now I will change this to curves. So I'm unlocking this shape. Shape is unlocked, and now I can modify the edge of the shape using node tool to make it rough. Just click on the line to add new nodes, and then you can move them up and down to make this rough, natural looking edge. Okay, that will do a simple trick, modifying existing shapes with no tool. Now it's time to make this root. Strange looking root. Let me show you how to do it. So I will start with donut tool this time. This looks like a circle of the hole inside. And we just need a quarter of that. So you can use this orange control points for adjustments. The quarter will do, maybe like this, and convert to curves as well. So we unlock this one already, and now I will just round corners on the one end of it. Perfect. We need a copy of this one. So right click on the layer and duplicate, and we will flip it, like mirror flip, position like this, overlapping, and then add them, unite them into one shape. And here it is. We create this strange looking shape without using pen tool, just by modifying existing shapes. This time, corner tool was really, really helpful. All right, now we can make copies of this. Using move tool, you can simply copy, rotate, rescale existing shapes. So that's really fast. And this way we were able to practice how to use several different shape tools and create this nice looking vector tree as the result. All right, so as you can see, you can create a whole illustration without even touching a pen tool. It's possible if you understand how to use built-in shapes and how to modify them using node tool and corner tool. All right, very important thing from this tutorial is that you actually practice that. This is more like a practice thing, nothing too crazy, but I would like you guys to actually try to do a similar tree so you can go through several different shapes and get a kind of feel how to use them, how to modify them. All right, thank you for today, and I hope I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.